What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining me for another video. Today, I'm gonna to go over these three popular microphone options for moto vlogging and why none of these are the solution to any audio issue that you might be having. So starting at the left, this was my first go-to lavalier microphone that I bought. I bought this microphone after seeing countless videos from people like Chase on Two Wheels and other popular moto vloggers saying that this was like the best microphone to have for your in-helmet audio with your GoPro. And don't get me wrong, it did serve me pretty well but there's a few reasons why this isn't the number one microphone to get. In the middle here, we have the giant squid. And as you're going to see in some footage that I'm going to show you here in a moment, uh, this microphone unfortunately arrived to me dead. It absolutely just does not work. I don't have anything else to test it on besides my GoPro, but this is supposed to work like beautifully with GoPros. And it was very, very unfortunate that this didn't work because I was so sure that this was going to be the winner. The power to wise microphone, it is a pretty good choice as well. The Purple Panda is a little bit cheaper right now. And honestly, just to give you guys a heads up, I would choose this one before I choose this one. And you'll see why in the video. It's because these two are so similar that you really can't distinguish them apart. But let's go ahead. We're going to jump on the motorcycle. I'm going to show you guys some footage of the current microphone that I'm using. And the result is going to surprise you about what microphone turned out to be the best one to use. All right, so we're out here on the bike and I kind of want to go over a few things with you guys that uh, just to discuss like what I've done in the past to try and get the best audio from my GoPro footage as I possibly could. So going back to about a year ago when I was using the GoPro Hero 8 and I was using the Media Mod, I picked up the Purple Panda mic, which a lot of you know about, you know, like it's probably one of the most popular moto vlogging recommended microphones out there as far as like the big YouTubers go. You know, uh, Chase on Two Wheels uses it, and a few others I've seen in their videos. The problem I had with the Hero 8 and the reason I got rid of that camera was because the popping and the peaking of the microphone was just uncontrollable. And I think it was a really a software issue with GoPro at the time. Ever since they did an update where you can use the old external microphone adapter versus using the Media Mod, it seems like their audio has gotten a little bit better. I've seen some successful videos, but I can't vouch for it myself. So I've been through the Insta361R, which has beautiful audio, but the reason that I got rid of that camera is because I just love uh, GoPro's Super View a whole lot better. The Insta361R is pretty good at audio processing, uh, especially Especially with the purple panda lavalier mic and the only issue is is the field of view is just not as good as the gopro so if you want to be able to capture like you know your handlebar controls and the road ahead of you you just right now the only solution i know is to go with gopro even like the other action cameras on the market they just don't have the field of view to compete with gopro that led me to uh getting rid of my insta 361r and i picked up the gopro hero 4 black which i did quite a few videos with uh, basically since I had my Z1000 back in the day. And I got rid of the Hero 4 and I picked up this Hero 7 which I got an insanely good deal for on eBay. So far this camera has done really good. Uh, I haven't had any major issues with it. The only issues I've been having is with the audio. And it's not the camera's fault. I've had the same audio issue uh, with the GoPro Hero 4, the 8, and that's the buffeting. The wind buffeting of the wind like slapping the helmet while you're riding along, especially on the highway, is intense. I mean, you'll pick up a ton of it with the Purple Panda Lavalier mic. So I decided to start doing some research and really try to figure out what was the best microphone setup I could go with for a direct plug-in into my GoPro. And so far, a lot of the solutions that I found were pointing at like the giant squid. So the giant squid microphone is a microphone that a lot of uh, YouTubers have used back in the day, especially when the Hero 5 first came out. A uh, popular YouTuber that used one is Blockhead, and I had been watching quite a few of his videos uh, from back in the day recently just while I was doing my research. His giant squid microphone, I mean, that thing sounded fantastic. I was like, oh, wow, that, that's really nice. When he was riding at speeds of, you know, 60 miles per hour or, or a little bit more, I couldn't hear a whole lot of wind buffeting uh, at all and he might be using a little bit of post processing on his audio I'm not hundred percent sure but it you could definitely tell that he wasn't picking up a whole lot of wind buffeting to be able to process all that out would take uh, <laughs> a fair amount of skill so I went ahead and I ordered the giant squid microphone and after waiting a week for it to arrive off of Amazon unfortunately the microphone arrived to me dead on arrival uh, right out of the box it just didn't work I'm not sure exactly what was wrong with it 
Uh, you could hear a little bit of static here and there from it. If I played around with the plug on my adapter, but other than that, just no audio whatsoever. I tried every setting in my GoPro to get this thing to work and I was so hopeful, but unfortunately it was just dead on arrival. Gladly I was able to get my money back uh, via Amazon because the seller did not respond to me and Amazon fortunately took care of it. I didn't even have to return it. Uh, they gave me my money back, so I'm pretty happy with that at least. While I was waiting to get my money back, I went ahead and I ordered another microphone uh, that I was doing research on, which was the Power DeWise lavalier mic. Very, very, very similar in build uh, to the Purple Panda lavalier mic. And I had a good hope for it because I had seen a few videos that people's audio seemed to be very, very clean. Uh, I watched a video in specific where this guy took his Ducati up to like 80 plus miles per hour. And I mean, the wind noise sounded almost non-existent, almost. And I was super impressed. I was like, huh, you know, maybe, maybe my purple panel lavalier mic is just tired. I don't know. So I went ahead and I ordered it, threw it in my helmet, plugged in all the adapters, went out for a ride, and wouldn't you know it, this thing sounded exactly like the Purple Panda Lavalier mic. I mean, exactly like it. Picked up the same amount of buffeting, had some popping and peaking issues here and there on the freeway. So unfortunately, this was not the solution that I was looking for. So right now, you're gonna get a good idea of what the microphone I'm currently using sounds like once we get up to speed here on the freeway, which this is where I get a lot of my popping and peaking is on the freeway because once you get up to speed the more wind that can enter your helmet you're going to get a lot more popping and peaking if you're not protecting your microphone with like a dead cat or any kind of wind muff and even if you do if the wind is too intense it'll still get through and uh i've had issues with the power to wise with that which is why i've gone ahead and decided to return it and then my purple panda same thing if i don't have my microphone in like the perfect position where the wind can't quite get to it uh it'll start popping and peaking here and there now the biggest issue i have with both of these is not just the popping and peaking but how much of the buffeting of the helmet it's picking up so it's not the wind itself hitting the microphone that's causing this it's also the fact that when the wind hits the helmet and bounces off the louder the material is the more those microphones will pick it up. These microphones are not very good as far as I'm concerned at ignoring background noise. And I consider the buffeting of the helmet to be a background noise. And we're gonna hit a little bit of fog here, unfortunately. Hopefully it doesn't mess the camera footage up too much uh, by getting a bunch of water dots everywhere. But take a listen, guys. Like I'm doing 80 miles per hour right now. And this microphone that I'm using sounds fantastic. We're going to go back to the garage. I'm going to show you what microphone I'm using. I'm telling you the result of what it is is going to blow your mind. The fact that I had the solution to this in my desk drawer this whole time is just mind blowing to me. I can't believe like how good this microphone sounds, how well it's handling this background noise. I'm absolutely happy with the way it sounds. I promise you there is no post-processing on this video whatsoever. All right, so we're back here in the garage. Let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about the audio you just heard? Because what I'm about to tell you is going to shock you. Absolutely none of these microphones are what's inside of my helmet right now. So I'm gonna get the camera set up to show you what I have going on in here. So this right here is my current microphone setup. And you guys are probably wondering, what in the hell is that? Well, let me tell you. So this little piece right here is actually the elongated part of a headset that came with my Galaxy S10 Plus about two and a half years ago. So what led me to do something like this was basically, I saw a video of this guy on YouTube here recently after I had been researching about all these other microphones. He took a pair of iPhone earbuds and did the exact same thing protected it with a little bit of a wind muff that he built himself. And it turns out that it worked really, really well. From his video, the audio was like, holy crap, that sounds way better than what I have going on right now. So funny enough, I've had these headphones laying around in a drawer inside my house for like two, two and a half years now. And I can't believe that this little thing right here is outperforming these, you know, professional grade lavalier mics. These things are great if you want to shoot video that is like outside of the helmet, like, like how I'm doing right now. 
but I, I just don't think these are viable for as in the helmet options unless you have you know a task cam or something like that but as far as plugging directly into a GoPro this thing has performed beautifully so far I mean this is kind of like my first test my first video with it but I mean you know tell me guys like I think it sounds absolutely great now you will still need to plug this thing into a TRS adapter which comes with something like your purple panel lavalier mic so on the other end of this there's another plug that looks just like this except you can see here that this one has two black rings well the one on the end of this microphone or any of the lavalier mics they have three and so what that is called is TRRS whereas what the GoPro needs in order to function is a TRS which means you only have these two black lines right here. There's a more technical definition of everything, but I'm not really gonna go over that. So this end plugs into your GoPro adapter, the one with two rings, and then you plug your microphone into this side of it right here, and then everything will work perfectly with your GoPro. All right, so that's it for today's video, guys. If you have been out there searching for the perfect audio solution for your GoPro, your in-helmet cam microphone, I'm telling you right now, give this a try. If you have an old set of iPhone earbuds or any earbuds that came with like a recent, you know, smartphone device within the last few years, and you don't have really a need for them, go ahead and try it out. Now, what I did do was I cut the earbud portions off so that they're not in the way. So you're gonna cut both of the earbuds off. Just make sure that you don't cut below the actual microphone. You can cut all the way up until where these things meet the microphone, but don't cut below the microphone because obviously you'll lose that functionality of the microphone itself. Now, these headphones are AKGs. You can actually get these on Amazon for like, I think about $15. I'll throw a link in the description if you wanna try this set out in particular. But yeah, I would definitely grab this and try it out. Perfect solution for audio. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. No more wind buffeting coming off my helmet like crazy. If this video was helpful to you guys or you just like my content, leave a like on this video. It really helps me out. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me if you would. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.